Hi, this is Keith Furrow. You know, oftentimes we hear from people that say, hey, I'm not going to sell until the market comes back. Well, first, let me tell you that it, from that perspective, the market is back. But really, there's no such thing as market being back or market not being back. And I know that's a strange thing to say when we've just gone through some of this disaster that we felt recently. Well, first of all, let me say, the markets are always moving. They're fluid. They're either tending towards a buyer side or they're tending towards a seller side. Typically, six months is considered a balance um, supply, six months of supplies. So if there's 10 sales in an area per month on average and there are 60 homes available, that's six months supply. So that's kind of how we judge it. Now, with the market changing, um, one block could be a little more aggressive than another block. Sometimes waterfront is selling a little bit more. Sometimes price range, uh, some of the lower price range homes are very sensitive to interest rates. Uh, some of the very higher price range tend to be less sensitive to it because a lot of times the hiring clients have cash and so you know that's a, a different perspective now what we saw in the in Northwest Florida was a decrease uh, in this um, great uh, recession they call it of 20 to 25 percent devaluation of property now we've seen huge you know huge uh, inroads of that coming back um, some people say that we're back to you know maybe 2000 you know four 2000 uh, Three prices, so you know it's hyper local. One one area prices actually may be higher than they were at the peak, but most areas are still slightly under that. Now we were blessed in Northwest Florida to not be as quite as depressed as some of the South Florida markets were down 30, 40, 50, or even more percent. So we're you know that's a there's a it's a much bigger area down there, a lot more potential for the swing, and they built a lot more homes. Northwest Florida is very limited as far as the land with our you know park parks all around us, the bases around, we've got the water to the south, and then we have the bays and we have the sound. And so with that, we have a limited amount of supply of where you can actually build homes. Now, what we're seeing right now is a major shortage of certain price ranges and certain areas. Now, whenever you have demand up, which we do, you have interest rates still reasonably low, which they are, and you have a supply down, which it is. When you put all that together, we're definitely going to see pressure you know, upward on prices. Now, no one can know where the markets go and, and predict the future, but the trend tends to be right now that it is going to continue to stay strong. There was a lot of pent-up demand with families that were formed during the Great Recession, and they want now, I mean, people are still graduating college, still graduating high school, still getting their jobs, still getting married. With all that said, still having children. So with all that, they're going to continue to move forward. The size of home they get and the type of home they get and where the home is the only thing that's going to change. So what you need is a good realtor to guide you through the process and make sure that you're deciding and figuring out what we call the Benjamin Franklin, where you put down um, the pros and cons of each property and help decide what's best for you in the long run. And we can do that. Now, I always say this about real estate. There's only a 5% window typically in the market. The buyer's agent's trying to help you with the get the lower of that 5% and a listing agent is trying to help their seller get to the top of that 5%. And that 5% is moving all the time. And I've said this many times, it's like trying to hit a moving target in the dark with a dart and it's moving every day. A few foreclosures or a few short sales you know, that were in process for a while, they can affect a market substantial. If a home is sold to a, a family member who overpaid or you know, to a, they want to be in a certain area close to their grandchildren, that might affect the market a different way. But that doesn't mean you should pay too much just because someone else might have. So those are things that you have to think about. Uh, right now, we're definitely moving towards a seller's market, but it's bouncing back and Forth and uh, in Pensacola, it's pretty balanced. Uh, Gulf Breeze, Navarre would tend to be a little bit slightly more towards the seller. So, hope this helps. Um, this is Keith Fro, Keith Fro Associates. Have a great day.